Hey everybody, welcome back to the Brain Homestead. That's what I'm gonna call it here. And we're, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go through um, the, the first part. I did kind of the intro video last, gives you just a, kind of a rough layout of the property. Now what I'm gonna do is a couple of things that I've done so far will give you a little bit, uh, a little bit of a close up view of it. Uh, I'm standing out pretty much right in between the uh, tiny house workshop and the cars there. But uh, I'm just gonna start doing a walk around the property. This video will be a little bit shorter. We're gonna just try to stick to a few things. Crows. All right, so what we're gonna do here, and I kind of started off on the last video talking about this. This, uh, what it's gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the uh, the specific type. Now, anybody that's from Iowa and interested in it, this is actually called centipede grass. This is a southern grass, it does not grow. It can grow up there, but the it would be dormant like all the way until July, and it would start going dormant in the beginning of September. So it, it would be, you know, brown most of the time, and probably die off. But as you can see, it kicks off all of these uh, all of these runners, these stolons, it kicks them all off right now. And this patch was just a tiny little patch this year. This patch was just a tiny little patch this year. And uh, you can see how much bigger it's gotten since then. This was barely anything last year. It was real. Um, like at the beginning of last year, this didn't even exist. It was very, um, very sparse. Same, same way with this a little bit over here. This was very sparse too. And I've taken a lot of time getting all the weeds out of it afterwards. And you have to dig some of the weeds out. Some of them you can use. Uh, there's several different types of, uh, you know, uh, weed killers that won't target, uh, won't target the centipede grass. However, centipede is a little bit more sensitive than most. So you have to be kind of careful about it. Uh, otherwise the weed killers will kill it. Yeah, it's, it's sensitive. That's all all I need to say but you have over here have kind of a mess with all the hoses there uh our new hot tub like I said there and this over here it's really shady so it hasn't grown in fully so it hasn't grown in fully altogether yet but you can see it's not doing too bad here and we got uh got some blueberries and this is just a little storage shed for garden garden tools and we have this over here. Now this has grown in really nice. And this is actually a lot longer. Usually it should be kept around, you know, one and a half to two inches. And right now, because it's been raining on and off for a week, it's about three and a half inches long. It's way too long. I need to mow it, but it just got done raining a little bit ago. So I still can't. And this is that plum tree that's right there. You got a big pear tree right now, but these pears, uh, I don't see any on it. These pears are strange. They're really small. And they're hard like an apple and they're not very juicy, but they do taste like a pear. But I think that's going to have to get taken out of there and I'm going to put an actual, either a Bartlett or an Anjou pear back in there. But that's still a matter of discussion. And you can see right here, you're like, why is this all open like that? And that looks so bad. And then you come over here. Well, hey, this looks all nice. Well, the reason why is I planted this last year. And then this basically line right going down through there that I just planted uh, about two months ago actually yeah about two months ago and the front nits and, and these are those bartlett pear trees right on there and those i need to come out i'm pretty sure that i'm going to put uh, some apple trees right in there because this is the perfect growing spot for them and if you come over here and look tree i'm not sure which one this one is but then yeah if you come over here and look this is still growing in you can see all those long stolons those runners coming off of there and they're trying to cover the distance because this was all basically, this whole thing was barren. Last year, like there was nothing in here. There's a couple tufts of grass and that was it. And now you can see it's mostly, um, like this will be completely filled in. Maybe not this year, but definitely by next year. And same way with all of this, this was all really thin. At, even at the beginning of this year, a month and a half ago, this was, uh, this was all really thin right through here. Like so much so, pointing it straight down, you can see the ground very easily, that red soil that Georgia has. And we're right over here, and this is coming up, but because of all the trees here, it doesn't grow near as fast. It does grow. It's just a lot slower, which that's all right. I'm in no hurry. Going to be here for quite a while, so. So we're going to walk right over here, and this is basically, uh, this is back to the driveway, construction fence right there that's acting as a temporary gate that I can just put up here to keep the dog in. It's not up right now. And this, I told, I made mention that I'd already planted this. Well, it doesn't look like it's doing too great until, let me try coming down. There, 
should be able to see it now. It's kind of bright out here, so I can't really see it. But if you look here, hmm, yeah, you can start seeing it. And if you look out a little bit further, you can start seeing it. It's actually growing uh, in the rows. And what I did with that is if you can kind of see here, you can kind of see that there's, you know, valleys. And the reason why is because I took, I have a teeth, uh, teeth on the front edge of the bucket on the tractor. And on those teeth, I basically turn around backwards and I drag it to put little channels in the ground because this is actually a pretty steep angle. Not a, not a real steep angle, but steep enough where it would get washed out. Also, what I do is I just, I, uh, you know, back up, go backwards with the teeth in the ground with the tractor bucket and it makes nice little channels. And when it makes those nice little channels, then it, uh, it kind of holds the grass right there and you can see it a lot better you can see it a lot better right here so this is what it all looks like so it's coming up pretty nice there's a few open spots but like i said i'm not worried about uh a whole lot of open spots like this right in here it didn't take a whole lot but i'm not worried about that because it spreads so aggressively that those will get filled in pretty quick and if you come over here, so this has been about, this is about two and a half weeks in since I planted it. And you can see right here where it almost looks like I did rows. And I kind of did, but not in a traditional sense. And then they're all growing right in the rows. So that's perfectly fine. That's looking great for me. No issues with that at all. I'm real happy. It doesn't look that great now. It's going to look a lot better in a month. I'll do this again and we can kind of get a good idea. And got those hoses stretched out. And the reason why I run the hoses back and forth is because they act like a stop for the seeds too. And so you get tons of grass growing up right where the uh, right where the hoses are. But yeah, and then I stopped pretty much right over here. That's where I stopped. And so right now we're, what are we, July 9th? Yeah, July 9th. So I figure probably about the beginning of August, I'll do this again and I'll show you how this looks. But right now it looks, it's just coming up, but it'll start looking better here pretty quick. So that's all the updates I have for you right now. And that concludes what I am going to do as far as the grass goes this year. I have tons more to do on the property, but that's what I'm going, this is all that I'm going to do this year. And I figure next, I'm gonna probably do a video about, uh, about the solar we have, you know, and probably, nice hydrangea. I put some fertilizer on it, but I never took care of it last year. So all the flowers immediately, these are all nice, but they were all sticking up, but they got to be so heavy that they all just fell over on the ground. So I'm gonna have to do something with that next year. Um, but I figured I'm gonna do solar. And then again, I've mentioned it one time in the last video, and I'll just mention it again real quick. Got some blueberries, some blackberry bushes I planted this year. We also got these guys right over here. Those are clementine trees. Now, clementine trees don't normally grow here uh, in Georgia. They're really close. I mean, really close to growing here, but not really, uh, unless you get down to southern Georgia. But I have plans uh, to take care of that that doesn't involve, you know, being inside. So I'm going to end off the video here. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, just go ahead. Feel free to... Uh, uh, to ask me, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll come back with another video probably with the solar and then uh, uh, a lot of the plantings I'm going to be doing, things like that. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.